When you're driving and darkness falls or the weather draws in, seeing the road ahead of you can become quite a challenge. It's simply not feasible to have lighting on every stretch of road, and whilst headlights help, they aren't always enough. Fortunately, there's a simple and elegant solution to this problem. Cat's eyes. Cat's eyes, technically called reflective road studs, have a few different designs, but the original is made up of three main components. At the center of the cat's eye is a glass reflector that utilizes a simple but effective method of reflecting oncoming light back in the direction that it came from. Through the use of a curved lens and mirrored backing, any light coming into the front of the reflector is reflected back in a relatively compact beam. This has the visual effect of making them appear to shine, as long as you are viewing them in close proximity to the light source. Here we have a cat's eye, a camera, and a light source. As the light source gets closer to the camera, the cat's eye sends more and more light back towards the camera. As the headlights of your car are positioned close to the driver's eye line, you get an intense reflection of light directly back at you. Hence the cat's eye's shiny appearance, which guides you along the road. Over time, the surface of the lens becomes coated in grime, but cat's eyes are cleverly designed to be self-cleaning. The glass reflectors are housed in a flexible rubber insert. As a vehicle drives over it, the center of the rubber insert is depressed, causing the lenses to wipe against the stationary portion of the rubber insert. The rubber shoe also includes a special reservoir to capture rainwater, which enhances the self-cleaning action. The flexible rubber insert also enables the reflective element to be raised above the road surface, making it easily visible. Because it yields under a car tire, it doesn't obstruct passing vehicles in any way. This rubber insert is secured into a cast iron base. The base is embedded in the road surface and takes the brunt of the passing vehicle's weight, protecting the other components of the cat's eye. Cat's eyes are used in any place where increased visibility is required. For example, to highlight the curve of a sharp corner, or to extend your effective visual range on a high-speed road, such as a motorway. The reflectors themselves can be coloured, which allows for differentiated uses. In the UK, white is used for lane division and the centre markings of roads. Red and amber units are used to denote lines that cannot be crossed, such as the edge of the road. Green is used to indicate a line that can be crossed, such as the entrance to a lay-by. Most of these coloured versions now consist of the cheaper plastic variety, but a few of the original cat eyes are still in use. Cat eyes are of course named after the reflective nature of the eyes of their feline namesakes. Now I don't have a cat, but I do have a dog who makes use of the same type of reflective layer within his eyes. This layer of tissue, called tapetum lucitum, reflects incoming light, allowing for significantly improved vision in low light conditions. Cat's eyes have been around for a long time. Percy Shaw of Halifax, England, painted the design in 1934, which took the invention of reflective studs embedded into road signs and repurposed them for use on the road surface. It took a while for Shaw to convince the local authorities to invest in cat's eyes. It wasn't until the blackouts of World War II, where the UK extinguished nighttime lights to safeguard against night bombing raids, that widespread adoption came about. In Shaw's original patent, he suggests using different colours to warn of upcoming hazards. As you approach a hazard, such as a tight bend or a junction, the cat size will transition from green to yellow to red, indicating a need for the driver to slow and potentially stop. Despite being, in my view, a sound idea, Shaw's suggestion doesn't seem to have been implemented. Whilst coloured reflectors are used for a variety of specific purposes mentioned earlier, they don't appear to be used to indicate proximity to a hazard in this way. Cat's eyes have been guiding us on the roads for the better part of a century, and whilst newer designs have come along, the robust simplicity of that original design will not easily be surpassed. If you liked the video, perhaps consider subscribing.